Hello everyone and welcome back to Destiny. Today we got some more information of what we can expect in regards to new content in 2017. And unfortunately, the news starts with the confirmation that last year's Valentine's Day event, Crimson Days, will not be making a return this year. But can this actually be signaling some very good news? What will rise from the ashes of a dead event? Let's jump in and find out. What you're seeing before you is footage from last year's Crimson Doubles event, which was a one week long Crucible event centering around a new Crucible game mode called Crimson Doubles. Many of us assumed that Bungie would bring it back for a second go, similar to how they brought back Festival of the Lost. But for one reason or another, Bungie has decided to forego Crimson Days this year. In the latest This Week at Bungie blog, Deej begins to answer the question of what we can expect next in the world of Destiny. He starts off with, First things first, Crimson Days will not be making a return this year. We enjoyed adding some gunfire to your date night, but we have other plans. Instead, we're dedicating our efforts to delivering different things for you to play. And there you have it. Crimson Days will not be making a return, which I think is a bit of a shame. Crimson Days was received with mixed feelings by the community last year, but again, I think that was mostly due to the uncertainty about real substantial content drops. For those of you who may not know what Crimson Doubles was, the game mode was essentially doubles elimination, but with a very interesting twist. When your teammate died in battle, you attained the Broken Heart buff. The buff dramatically increased your armor, recovery, and agility, as well as your weapon handling. It also made your character glow red. It basically turned you into a Raging Hulk, so you could decide to either revive your teammate, losing the buff, or go full berserker on your enemies. I think Crimson Days could have done just fine this year, and I'm always a fan of changing things up. But the good news is that this statement seems to imply that we will be treated to something completely new, which is very exciting. Especially since we might be closer to it than we might realize. Deej continues to say, Last week at Bungie, we teased that you haven't heard the last from the live team. Their next content update is taking shape. We're super excited to tell you about it, but not so excited that we'll jump the gun. There will come a time where we'll take a seat on our streaming set to talk about how we'll spend the springtime together. That moment will come closer to the thaw. Which, if we're talking seasons, that might be sort of late February, early March. I personally hope that the new content is revamped year one raids, but it seems we've talked that almost to death at this point. Whatever the content ends up being, given their current timeline, Bungie would be wise to show us what they have cooking up for us sooner than later. I think it's important for the Destiny community to continue to stay positive in light of today's news. Now, there was some very good news with this update. It seems like Destiny's sandbox team has been hard at work on a new weapon balancing that will finally deliver on some of the ideas that they expressed last month. Last month they mentioned on the Bungie forums, as we wage wars in our playtest labs, we're taking a lot of things into account. Player data, your feedback, and our own gameplay experiences. We've heard the conversation about, and felt for ourselves, shotgun dominance. Yes, we see you, Matador64. But we strongly feel that our goal shouldn't be to nerf them into the ground. Instead, we're taking a look at solutions that could bring shotguns into a better state of balance with the rest of the guns in the game. In doing this, we would still want shotguns to be effective and fun to wield. We could quickly and easily break shotguns and call it a day, but it's important to us that we explore positive changes that can make Destiny better for everyone. Now, I've expressed some opinions on what I think this could look like in previous videos to some mixed reception, but at the very least, I hope it means that we'll get some buffs for our favorite primary weapon archetypes like high impact pulse rifles and high rate of fire auto rifles. And maybe, just maybe, they'll actually be working on a fix for those darn hand cannon ghost bullets. The optimist in me sees them not having this weapon balance out for the dawning as a good thing, meaning that they were hard at work trying to implement some fundamental changes to weapon behavior, instead of just random nerfs and buffs. The full This Week at Bungie blog is a very interesting read, so I'll leave the link in the description if you want to check that out. Anyways, what do you think about Crimson Days not returning this year? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more Destiny content. And I will see you all next time. Not only do we have an incredible set of modifiers for the Nightfall and Strikes, but we also have the first return of Iron Banner for 2017. Also today we got the 2.5.0.1 patch, which addresses some of the remaining issues from the Dawning update. 